an old story now, but in 2020, when I entered the Table Topics competition, the question that they asked me, asked us, Doug and myself, was if you're in a tunnel, in a dark tunnel, and you see a light, what does that light represent? And my answer was hope. And when I think of this club, if you've been a member for a week, or if you've been a member for 10 years, you are that light. You are that hope. You are the hope that flows into the people around you. You are the hope that flows into the broader community. You are the hope that flows into postmasters all over District 67. You are that light that shines so bright in Taiwan for Toastmasters. You see, TGIF has always focused on the four core values of Toastmasters. Integrity, respect, service, and excellence. But we are not the only club that does that. Many, many other clubs around Taiwan focus on those core values. And yet, we are the best club in Taiwan. I'm sorry for the people who are listening. <laughs> I'm not sorry. And the real question is what sets us apart? What sets us apart from the other clubs? Because they also focus on integrity, respect, service, excellence. But what sets this club apart from everybody else? You see, when I did become Douglas Huang, who was the second president, when I became his VPE, I started making little bits of posters. And on those posters, I started to write TGIF, built on love. <coughs> because I truly believe that this is a club that is built on love. Because when I first joined this club, the very first meeting I attended in TGIF, Christian Toastmasters Club, was 10 years ago, on the 23rd of October, 2013 at our charter meeting. Sadly, there are only four people left in this room from that charter meeting. There's Jonathan, Mark, Doug, and myself. But I was not a charter member. They were the three charter members of Lester and a couple of other people. Give them a round of applause. But when I walked into that club, I saw this guy, he just saw sitting over here, talking about his toilet problems. <laughs> And I saw him standing there saying a simple thing. We will treat everybody like a VIP guest that God himself sent. And we always hear these lines. But do people walk the talk? And I can honestly say, we do. When I first joined that club, I felt so loved and accepted by everybody in that club. From Douglas Wong and Mark and Jonathan to Lester, and all the other members at that time. And I didn't mention Iris because Iris wasn't there at that time. <laughs> but yet we started to build. And because of that commitment to loving each other and to caring for each other, people like Iris joined. People like Joseph Culpin joined. And they became pillars of our community and pillars of our club. I cannot imagine a TGIF without Iris. I cannot imagine a TGIF without any of you. Because you are the light that shines in this community. You see, what happens is when we put our arms around each other at the end of every single meeting, we don't do that for fun. Well, we do do it for fun. <laughs> but it's more than that. When we put our arms around each other at the end of every meeting, it's to say, here I am, standing next to you. You are my brother. You are my sister. You are created in God's image. And I love you. I got you. And I will always be there for you. That's what that means. It means that we stand here as a community for each other always. The thing that sets us apart is that we provide hope and light to people's lives. Because when I first joined this club, we started to go to competitions, like Lester said. And when we go to competitions, there will always be like 10 or 15 TGIF members. And the other contestants will have one or two members from their club. But we outnumber, we are usually the whole venue. It's us. Because when we started this club, we promised that nobody in this club would ever walk alone. And we don't let people walk alone. Ever. We always stand by their side, no matter what they go through, no matter what is happening in their lives. Usually it's just about Toastmaster stuff, but if there are other things, we also stand by them. And we celebrate each other's lives with joy and happiness. And we always try to shine that light into people's lives. Always. And we've built this community not by just attending meetings on a 
weekly basis, but we built this community by doing second rounds, by going to conferences together, by being involved in each other's lives. You are the light and the hope that you shine to the people next to you. Your brothers and sisters in TGIF are born to shine. You are their hope, you are their light, you are their support. And for that, you should thank everybody around you, because we are all here for each other. And for a long time, and we all know the story, but for a long time, we were doing that for other people, me and myself. But two years ago, three years ago, when she was diagnosed with cancer, you guys stood there for me. You were her hope. You were her light. And in her darkest times of her life, she loved you all. She loved this club so much that three weeks before she died, Sally was screaming at the Born Shine meeting. And I was lying in the hospital bed with her. And I was showing her the video. And she was commenting on the speeches. <laughs> she was like, oh, this is going to improve. This is great. She was giving me the evaluations. Because when she was sick, you were in the hospitals with her. You were at home with her. You donated your time. You donated your resources, your money, your love. This club represents light. It represents hope. As Lester said, we've walked through the valley of death. And when Queenie died, you were there. Doug was outside the room. John was outside the room. Where's John? I saw John. But there's John. John was there at the hospital. The night before, people were in the room, in the hospital crying. You were her hope in the darkest times of her life. And as Lester says, we look forward to the next 10 years. Let's continue to keep that commitment to love to loving each other around us always, to being there for each other, in the highs, like Jenny and Jack's wedding, and in the lows, through Queenie sickness. Let us continue to be that pillar, that hope, that light that shines brighter than any other club in Taiwan. Let us also pray.